my name is Carolyn Frank and I'm Jessica Frank and today we're going to be talking to you about our trash and show dress. How we went about finding the design for this dress, I looked on Pinterest at a couple different styles. I just looked for regular dresses and regular popular dresses in 2017 and then I looked for some trash and show dresses and by combining the two and finding two different trash and show dresses that I liked, one of them was long and one of them was short, I was able to create this design for a gown. So what we use to make this, the top is made from Target, the giant Target bags, the bottom is made from white kitchen trash sacks, the waistline is made from red duct tape, the sweetheart neckline is also used from red duct tape, and the back we closed it with red duct tape again. The clutch we made from the large uh, Target, track, Target bags and we outlined it with the red duct tape. How we went about creating this design. Well, we started with the top. They're actually two separate pieces put together. The top is made from, like she said, the giant Target trash or Target trash Target bags, and we created this look, and then we lined the other side with white duct tape. And then to create more of a dimensional look, we created these horizontally shaped other bags coming this direction just to give it more dimension. And then along the sides, we created these little ruffles also to give it more dimension. And then the bottom is actually a, um, there's a white trash bag slip to it just to create a modest feel. And then over top of it, we created these white strips to cover it just to give it a more fully feel. And then the back is the same as this trip comes around. And then we close it up with the red duct tape. And then along the middle right here, just to create a waistline, we added duct tape. And then the top, we also added duct tape to create a sweetheart neckline. And then the clutch was created from the Target bags as well. And we folded them over on themselves and doubled them up to create it it's stiff. And then we added white duct tape on the side to create for more definition. Next, um, our inspiration behind this gown. We, um, just as it's becoming prom season and homecoming season was last year or last semester, um, we're getting a lot of magazines and books about prom and different dresses and different styles and different looks. And so after looking on um, a couple different magazines and finding some cute dresses, of course, some are long and some are short, this is actually a very popular style. Um, it's kind of like a fit and flare look, which comes just about to the knee. Um, a lot of them are actually a lot shorter than this, but I decided to create it a little bit longer. And then a lot of them are strapless with a sweetheart neckline. From our environmental fact, we found out that plastic bags are made from ethylene, which is a waste byproduct made from refining natural gas and oils. We also learned that every year, 5 billion trash bags are used, and about 75% of them end up in landfills. Now, I'm not saying that you're going to go right now and make your own trash dress, but it's actually a lot of fun to make, and it creates a lot of memories. Some people actually do create these and take them to prom or scholarships. And apart from that, you can even have a party with your friends and ask them to make their own trash dresses, and then you can have contests. And even though you probably won't wear it out, it's a lot of fun to find what you have around your house that is trash and create a garment out of it. And you can keep it for years to come. Thank you so much for listening to our Trash and Show entry form. We hope you enjoyed it.